Hey, welcome back to your regularly scheduled program of Man Cinema Reviews with its ever so lovely host, Peter Mann. Hey, that's me. What's up, y'all? Today we're going to be covering two new films, one in its wide release, written and directed by Sarah Pauly, Women Talking, and the latest thriller that released over the weekend called Missing. But before we do that, go ahead, press like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell as well to notify you of any and all reviews and the like of my content on your favorite movie review channel. Thank you very much for choosing Man Cinema Reviews. Again, with its wide release on January 20th, Women Talking, written and directed by Sarah Pauly. This details the accounts of women in a religious colony subject to sexual assault in the middle of the night and the elders uh, want to catch the men in this colony in the act and do so and during this time the women of the colony must band together and choose to leave or fight so with that this is a powerhouse juggernaut murderer's row of talented um, actors. We got Clara Foy, we have Jesse Buckley, we have Rooney Mara, the list goes on and on. And as well as Francis McDormand playing a bit part and also as a producer. Now this is a harrowing account of um, the women in the colony. It's inspired by the Bolivian Mennonites uh, between the years of 2005 and 2009, there were these um, uh, ghost rapes uh, where men would be uh, drugging women uh, with animal tranquilizers and sexually assaulting them. And this film is not um, diving into the illicit um, assaults. We don't see any. Um, of these sexual assaults occur. It's more of the aftermath and the women waking up in um, pools of blood, their sheets and underwear, just uh, blood soaked. And again, a uh, very harrowing tale for these women. And this is just a, uh, a talented cast. I was definitely eagerly anticipating its wide release and I'm glad that I saw this film. Sarah Pauly I just been a fan of when she was an active actress in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s. I'm very glad that she has followed up on her uh, writing and directing career. I do want to see more films from Sarah Pauly. I think she's just a wonderful talent uh, behind the camera. The cinematography here is great. Um, the ambiance of um, just the um, nature and uh, you can just hear these um, long drawn out silences where you catch like insects and bugs and just like the ambiance of the colony again is just so uh, very uh, telling and it's uh, in its depiction of sexual assault is very uh, smartly done I think it's very effective. This more is a kind of a core procedural. Uh, the women of the colony uh, take minutes with the help of a uh, the only man, uh, uh, Ben Wishaw, who's taking the minutes. Uh, Jesse Buckley is a woman that is staunch and uh, does not want to cause a rift in her home. Um, she has children. She uh, comes from uh, an abusive relationship where her husband abuses her. And so therefore she just rather, you know, stay, you know, on a low profile where Clara Foy, she's sick and tired of what's going on. She wants these men to answer for their crimes. And she knows that she has murder in her heart. So she knows she has to flee. And uh, Rooney Mara is a woman that is impregnated, um, again, subject of rape. Uh, but she wants to keep her child and she's somewhere in the middle of these two women 
and I really like the fact that uh, even small parts of um, the elder, elderly women and some of the uh, prepubescent young women in the colony are also in the uh, discussion up for debate of whether they stay and fight or they flee. And um, it's just very, very dialogue heavy. And I really think that it's a film that's driven by this. And I really do like a film that's uh, dialogue heavy where it's smart, it is effective. And that is what Sarah Pauly and her cast create. I think this is, is such a strong film and as harrowing and as difficult as the subject matter is, I think everyone here came to play. I think it was very effective. Um, again, for something that's very uh, dramatically uh, dialogue heavy, it really does captivate its audience. And with the harrowing accounts, it's very effective in um, bringing the emotion and the message home. And whether that bothers you, whether you don't want to visit a film that has this thematic elements, it's a um, really tough, grueling watch. But if you're here for it, if you want to be captivated by some great performances and you know great cinematography and great direction, I say go for it. And I think this is a solid film and Man Cinema Reviews gives Women Talking a strong, enthusiastic four stars. Again, my reservations with it is just the harrowing details and the um, sadness and the depression that these women face and the hurdles that they have to go through. Again, very difficult sell uh, for those that just want to uh, go to the movies, escape. This one is very um, hard to get through, but it's a grueling watch that is very effective and uh, is well worth it. Next, we're gonna go on to Missing. Missing is the latest film uh, that follows up um, a film that is a mirror of 2018's Searching, uh, which was uh, starring John Cho. I thought that was a very effective, um, you know, not found footage, but it has to deal with um, devices and capturing its thematic elements through computer screens, through smartphones. Uh, in the digital era, that this film is very thrilling, and I thought this was a very solid uh, little indie thriller, and I was definitely a fan of 2018 Searching. Now we have this film Missing, starring uh, Storm Reed, uh, Nia Long, uh, Ho Kim de Almeida, and Ken Luong. And I really think that this film, um, with its cast, I think Storm Reed as June, um, she has uh, her mom, um, Nia Long's character, that goes away with her new boyfriend, um, which is uh, Ken Lung's character. But does she really know this new man in her life? And um, Storm Reed has this weekend of uh, partying and she is supposed to follow up a week later to pick them up at LAX. When Nia Long and Ken Lung do not return from their trip to Columbia, this is where the events uh, just rapidly take place. As kinetic as this film is, it's very on the go, it's very fast. Again, a lot of it is uh, captured on you know laptop screens, uh, smartphone screens, um, digital cameras, security uh, programs, uh, going through the uh, you know, web browsers to find answers. Storm Reed really, as June, you're basically in her shoes. She wants to uncover uh, the mystery of uh, her uh, mother's um, uh, missing, uh, uh, and therefore she finds abduction. Um, but it really does, the events really do ramp up and it's kind of like a non-stop thrill ride. However, I think Searching really was effective and kind of first of its kind, uh, where we are coming back to the same you know, thematic elements. Uh, this time in, in Searching, it was a parent trying to find their missing child. Now it's a child trying to find their missing parent and missing. 
Um, so I think that it is effective in what it's doing. However, if you've seen it before in searching, um, things kind of just relatively remain the same. It's kind of the same format, same formula, um, and it does get formulaic. Now with Storm Reed, she had a father that passed away and she's definitely hurt from that void of not having her father around. And with Nia Long's character, she's, you know, getting over um, that fact and trying to find a relationship. Um, how well does Storm Reed know her mom, Nia Long's character, uh, Grace? Uh, this is where, you know, things ramp up because there are secrets and there's uh, a past. Um, and so that's what I found most effective is uh, Storm Reed and uh, Nia Long. Uh, everything else, I think also a, a key player, uh, uh, Joaquin de Almeida, who is famous in his roles, usually as a bad guy, uh, you would notice him as Bucho in Desperado. Um, he is very effective as uh, Javi. This is a person in Colombia, it's kind of her liaison, uh, someone that she hires um, uh, for cheap to help her in her investigation. Uh, into her mom's um, uh, missing um, and so I think that this is very effective however if you've seen it before it's kind of just retreat and I think that the first two acts are uh, what keeps you it's the third act where I feel that it falls apart and things kind of wrap up ever so nicely very packaged very uh, just standard and the third act really doesn't work for me. I really think that it was effective in the beginning, but it kind of fumbles and falls apart and the seams come loose towards the end of the film. I thought that this was not as uh, successful as uh, 2018 Searching, but if you've not seen Searching before and you're relatively new to this style of filmmaking, uh, I think you might have a good time. I think this is very, you know, very kinetic. Uh, very fast paced and if you enjoy that kind of uh, thriller caper the missing is for you but I've seen it before and um, it just wasn't as effective this time although I do like performances again of Storm Reed and Nia Long. Missing will get a um, as strong as I can give it a two and a half stars Again, this was kind of a mixed bag for me. Thank you very much for choosing Mad Cinema Reviews and just I think that January is a great year. I feel this is a year of the horror genre. I'm very excited for what's coming, uh, the films that are going to be releasing soon, and much, much more in this new year. Thank you very much for choosing Mad Cinema Reviews, and we'll see you on the next one.